of Jesus. We are grateful to be here, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the hour of prayer that you give us. That we can congregate upon you. The ministry, the servant and your message. The final call before fire will consume everything. The end time is here. We have opened our eyes to read and see the time we live in. Like Daniel in Babylon, he read the books of Jeremiah. He saw the appointed time. And when the time came, he went to Revelation and began to pray. Though the tarries for the answer, but yet he was hard. Who will open the book? It was wonderful. 
just seem to see it's his name there. It's wonderful. But then, there's something that John was looking for. John was then told, take the book and eat it. That's different. It's no longer about what he saw. It's about eating the book. What John saw was wonderful. He saw the past, he saw the present, he saw the future. That was all good. But then, John was to take the book and eat it. So if you don't eat the book, everything you saw was great. There are many people who proclaim their witnesses even to the message. That's beautiful. Jesus had many witnesses. Nicodemus was one of them too. He who came by night would tell him, Master, nobody can do these things you're doing if God did not in them. He was a good witness, but he never ate the book. That's right. People of Israel, in the wilderness, they are great witness. They saw Moses. They saw the wonderful walk. Oh, they will get manna. But the book was never in them. That's why Jesus says, they ate manna in the desert, they all died. Mm. And today, many people are screaming and shouting about what they saw, what they witnessed. It's all good. But it's what you witness in you. That is the only thing that will make it the rapture. Jesus is not going to tell you, did you see what I did? Did you read it? When he said, do you believe? It means, is that in you? And that's the only question he asked. Do you believe? Hallelujah. Amen. We love the Lord. Amen. Let's be on our feet. So again, you might see me go back and forth to pick up certain things from last Sunday. As the Lord will lead us. We go as the Lord is going to lead us. Because that message is still one of our resources. The mighty God is unveiling in us, it's one of our resources. It was preached 1964, June 29. In addition to that, we're going to add another message. He that is in you. He that is in you. That is preached by a prophet, 1963, November 10, at the evening time. He that is in you. Our first scripture this morning will be 1 John 4 4. 1 John 4 4. Ye of God, little children, you have overcome them because. Greater is he that's in you than he that, that is in the world. Let's read that again. You are of God, little children. You have overcome. Overcome them. Who are they? Because greater is he that's in you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why this morning is about mighty God availed in you. Greater is he that's in you. It is the mighty God of in you that makes you greater than he that is in the world. So there are two things, the world and you. Hallelujah. Amen. Always recognize there is the world Amen. and there is you. Amen. So you cannot say there's no world. The Bible is making it clear. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. Father, may you bless your word. Yes, Lord. As this world is spoken this morning, may you resonate in the heart of the hearer as the ready to see, to bear fruit. Every seed must bear fruit according to its kind. 
And if we be children of God, we are going to bear fruit according to the word of God. The world know you not. You said I came to the world that I may, but they know you not. I came to my own and they receive you not. There are many as there that receive you. And you meant to be sons and daughters of God. My Lord, my God, this morning, as we are meditating upon your word, may you come down in the fullness of your glory. May you honor your presence this morning. May you vindicate the bride this morning. For the glory of your name, my Lord, we ask with thanksgiving in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May I have your seats now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God has blinded Israel for you, the Gentiles. When Jesus came down on earth, he was rejected. And he said, you will be rejected like I was rejected. And it was just a remnant of the Jews that understood who he was after the day of Pentecost. Then before that day, nobody knew him, even the disciples. Though Peter said to him, thou art Christ, the son of the living God. Though Jesus told him, flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you, then my father in heaven. And Jesus declared upon this rock, I will my church. What is that rock? That rock is the revelation of who Jesus is. Upon knowing who he is, he built his church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. But yet, they denied him. Because the comforter has not come. That that will make them greater has not come. Because he told them plainly, so the world will see me no more. But you are going to see me. He still made a distance, difference between him and the world. Soon the world will not see me. But you are going to see me. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you will say, what a Paul. But Jesus died for the world. The famous scripture, John 3, 16. For God so of the world. He gave his only begotten son. Howsoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Why? For God did not send his son to the world to destroy the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So the glory of the Lord came upon the world. The blessing of Jesus came upon the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Since God created his son, he shines upon the righteous and the unrighteous. Since God created the rain, he rains upon the righteous and the unrighteous. So the blessing of God is upon the world, the universe. For both the believers and the unbelievers, they all receive the blessing of God. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus, one day when he was walking, the disciples saw some group of people. They were trying to heal on his name. They said to him, Master, those are not your disciples. Jesus said, leave them. Hallelujah. Let them go ahead on my name and do what they are doing. But on the last day, I will bring unto the barn the wheat and the chaff. I am going to bound them and burn them. The chaff they enjoyed the blessing of Jesus Christ. The chaff they spoke on the name of Jesus Christ. The chaff they even healed on the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They worshipped like Cain. Cain was a good worshiper. Cain built a beautiful altar. The altar of Cain was more beautiful than that of Abel. Can build a more beautiful altar than ever because Cain thought it was beauty. He took the most beautiful things he got from the, his garden to decorate his altar. He lacked the revelation that the altar of God is not beautiful, but it's purified by the blood. He didn't know. Ever by revelation knew we fell by blood. 
and God demands blood because God is righteous. Every punishment of God is commensurate with the sin. Amen. Amen. Every punishment of God is commensurate with the sin. That's why he is righteous. And they knew we fail by blood. Therefore, blood I must bring. And so by revelation, he offered a more excellent sacrifice. Amen. Not beautiful. Excellent. Amen. That's right. And that excellent sacrifice was accepted by the Lord. And that's why God asked him, if you would have come like your brother, hallelujah, yes. but God knew he would not. God knew where he came from. He could not. Hallelujah. Yes. A child of God will never kill anybody. Yes. And then when I told his sister that at work, she said to me, okay, why did Saul kill people? And he became poor. Did he not kill people? You see how the devil can ask questions. But right. it's a good thing to ask questions. But the answer was there. Hallelujah. Amen. And he was Saul before his confession. When he got converted, show me who he killed. Instead of that, he received lashes all over the place. He can do nothing. He became a prisoner. Hallelujah. Amen. He was bound in jail. He went from jail to jail. He said, the lashes I have on my back. And he could do nothing. And he asked God, can you help me? Can you take this away? God said, Paul, no. Hallelujah. Amen. You will suffer for me, Paul. Why? My grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's when you are weak that I am strong in you, Paul. Hallelujah. So a child of God can never commit murder. Amen. There are certain things a child of God can never do. Amen. That's right. You can't do everything you want and tell me, oh, when I go and kill somebody and waste blood, tell me you're a child of God. Perverse generation. They call themselves Christians, committing atrocities on mother, fornication all over the place, molestation all over the place. Yet they sit in the synagogue, they sit in front of the churches. God have mercy. There is the world, and there are real Christians. Greater is he that's in me and you than he that's in this world. The mighty God has been unveiled, not just unveiled before us, but unveiled in us. Amen. Before he was unveiled before us, there was a veil we read on Sunday. There was a veil that covers him and his people. Nobody could look at the face of Moses. When Moses goes to the mountain, he will unveil himself and speak to God. When he comes down, he will veil because they can't look at his face. Because the glory of God is upon his face. Amen. And in the book of Leviticus, God told Moses, Tell Aaron, don't come near the mercy seat. Because there I will speak to you. Amen. They put a veil that the people cannot look in there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why the Holy of the Holies. Hallelujah. Only the high priest goes there once a year to offer sacrifice. And there's a veil there. Hallelujah. Amen. When you get to the outer courts, that's where you stay for and you wash your feet with the waters of separation before you come into the sanctuary. And you hold your the holies, you cannot get in there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when the high priest goes in there, he has to wear a long bell. And the bell will be ringing. Check out, check out, check out. If they don't hear him walking around, they know he is dead. And they cannot still enter. They have to pull him by the string. Because there is a veil. God fed himself for the people. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. There was a covering that you cannot see. He came to speak to Noah. Hallelujah. Mm. He fed himself. Mm. Noah just had a voice. He came to speak to Job. Mm. He spoke from a wild wind. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. For no man has seen God, said Jesus, except the Son. 
He came to speak to Moses. He spoke to the burning bush. And Moses desired to see him. It was a good desire. Hallelujah. Oh. There's no good prophet like Moses said in the book of the Bible. Hallelujah. But Moses said, The Lord thy God will raise a prophet unto you like me. For Moses spoke to God mouth to mouth. He desired to see God. And God said to Moses, Stand upon the cleft of the rock, and I will walk past by you. He's walking past this morning. Hallelujah. Will you look deep and see him? Even if you stand on the cleft of the rock, you will see him in his back path. Hallelujah. Oh, what a father we have. Oh, what a God we have. All the angels bow down before him. The mighty God is unveiled even among his people. And the mighty God is unveiled in his children. And they know who they are. Though we walk through the valley of shadow of death, we fear no evil. For we know who we are. Hallelujah. Though the tempest may come, that we cannot be consumed. Because we know who we are. Hallelujah. We walk around this earth. Like anybody else, we work hard. We study hard. But the maker was with me. He knew I would tell him I went to bed by 4.30 a.m. I was busy doing things on the 4.30 a.m. Hallelujah. And I went to bed. And by 6.30, I was up. Hallelujah. And I'm standing before you, filled with the energy that I cannot see friends. I can stand here and preach it tomorrow with no worry because of the grace of God. If you doubt it, let's stay here until 10 p.m. I will stand here and be preaching to you until you are tired and go home. It is the grace of God. Hallelujah! Friends are not bluffing. We know who we are. We know what's inside of us. Soon the world will see me no more. Say, Lord, that you're going to see me. He's going to be inside of you. If Christ is in you this morning, say amen. Hallelujah. Let's say the name of the living God. The mighty God was unveiled among the people. That's why he won the walls of Galilee. That's why he won the walls of Jerusalem. He was God in flesh, standing there. But the fullness of cross was Christ in Jesus. Because Christ was the body of God. He walked the walls of Jerusalem. He walked the walls of Jericho. He healed the sick. He shook their hand. He ate with them. But that was God unveiled in flesh. The fullness of God bodily. Hallelujah. He was God unveiled in flesh. And was walking around this world. Oh, how be it? The whole world didn't know. But you will say to yourself, Well, if what you receive is true, everybody should see it. Where have you seen that in the Bible? Hallelujah. When Jesus was here, when God who came as flesh was here, did everybody see it? No. Even the very people he came to could not see it. Hallelujah. They were blinded. Hallelujah. Give me Romans 11. I start from verse 1. Romans 11. They were blinded. They couldn't see. Hallelujah. Romans 11, sister. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I say then, oh, Paul, you got to love Apostle Paul. I hope you do. I love him so much. Because when he writes, hallelujah. He will prick your thoughts. If you say that you're wise, he will prick your wisdom. The manner he writes. And I, you will be the only one that's even Peter said that. Peter said this is our brother Paul. Sometimes when he writes, you know, it's difficult for us to even understand. That's what Peter said. But he corrected Peter too. Hallelujah. Amen. About circumcision. Peter was wrong. Peter said circumcision is not the Paul said, no, no, no. It's not in your heart, Peter. Hallelujah. Oh, I love the Lord. Yeah. I said then, had not God cast away his people, God forbid. For I also am an Israelite, said Paul, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What he not, what the scripture said of Elias, how he make an intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets. They dig down thy altar. I have left a 
alone and they seek my life. Hold it there for a second. Hallelujah. God bless you, Brother America. God bless you, brother. This brother and I were there yesterday. He didn't know the testimony he shared. He came out of not planned. But that testimony will stay with me until I depart from this earth. You know, as missing believers, you know, we have a way of life. We have a way of life. And sometimes we think we are the only ones with that way of life. For example, how our sisters are out to dress, how the brothers shouldn't drink or smoke. You know, how you should carry yourself, how you should help the poor, help the widow. This man yesterday, after, because he knows I, I, I speak when I'm with him. I, I, he knows. I, I can stand up and talk to him for three hours. And I did that yesterday. And when I was tired of talking, because all I'm telling him is, brother, take this message to heart. Be sold out. You have everything. Because God has prepared you already. You are missing material. And while I was talking and talking and talking, when I sat down, then he came around my desk. He said, you know what? I never told you all these things. He said, but when I was growing up back home, people don't wear pants in my house. They don't wear pants. And he said, there was a young girl who was living with him. And one day, she wore pants. When she came home, he took a stick and woke her so much. She called her parents. And the parents said, well, you're in the man's house. And then he told me, in his own village, he made them change the laws of marriage. From where we came from, when you come to get married, you're going to bring bottles, cartons of beer, half of this house. They're going to tell you to bring many, many cartons of beer, enough to fuel a vehicle. Because all that's what they do is drink. And I was telling him how there's no beer served in my house. When my mother died, people were cussing me out. Although almost a thousand more people came to my house when my mother died. We rented cheers, a thousand five hundred. It was packed. People will go over the village, but there's no alcohol I sell. Zero. And they will come to my face, sir, come on, you're American. I said, please, on the side. See, and he told me in his village now, he, uh, he met them to make two laws. One for a good, a good Christian, one for whoever wanted. For a good Christian, you can't ask them for alcohol, for cigarettes, for tobacco, they snuff. A man making changes even in the village. Amen. Before he even knew this message. Amen. You see, that was Elijah. Amen. We just read. Go back again. Go back again to two. You see, Elijah, that's what Paul is writing here. Elijah was casting away people and and for, but he, he he taught in the scripture, he made it the to God against Israel on three. No, they have killed all the prophets, said Elijah. God said to Elijah, I'm the only one. Everybody's gone. God said, Elijah, hold up. I have 7,000. Amen. You don't know them. Amen. They haven't bowed down the bar. Amen. He may not see them. Hallelujah. Amen. We just cross way. I believe this is a message believer. Amen. God will just, he told me what he's waiting for. And God will finish it. And God will get it glory. Amen. Hallelujah. God Amen. bless you, brother. See, I don't forget those testimonies because those, those are spiritual food. We can talk about how to make money, do business, go to school. Yeah, but give me one good testimony, spiritual testimony. It stays here because it shows me who the man is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, who you are is when no one is watching you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In your closet is who you are. Uh, not when you come out, you know, in your closet, but no one is watching. How you respond to other people, how you respect somebody, how you love somebody, how you are able to help others when no one is watching you. That's who you are. The prophet said, don't jump higher than your testimony. It's in the message. Do not jump higher than your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. Hallelujah. On verse 4. But what saith the answer of God to him? I have reserved myself 7,000 men who have not bowed their knee to the image of Baal. Even so then at this present time also, there is still a remnant according to the election. Hallelujah! Amen. Election. Remember, the prophet told us, Abraham was called by election. Hallelujah! 
Without an election, Abraham was not being called. He was elected like the elected lady. Like we minister here some time ago. You are the elected lady by election of grace on six. And if by grace, then it's no more work. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if you have work, then there's no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then was it? Israel had not obtained it, that which he seeked for, but the election had obtained it. And the rest were all blinded. According to this written, God had given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see. Yes, they should not hear. Even until when? Until when? This day. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Apostle Paul is not about this day. They are blinded. They cannot see. And you have many people following the same blindness. They can see. The light has come. And people prefer darkness to light. But you Gentiles, you are not Israel. You Gentiles, you can listen to me on the tape. You Gentiles, keep playing with the word of God. It will not be long you will know how error you were. This we tell you is the truth. Amen. This we declare is the truth. The truth is vindicated. I'm not making it the truth. God vindicated the truth. Amen. Jesus was vindicated, but still people couldn't see. This message is vindicated. People cannot still see. Hallelujah. Amen. But for the Gentile, your day is running out. Let's go to eight, nine. Then he said, let their table be made of a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not even see. Back down their back away. I said then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather, through their fall, salvation is come. When salvation has come, salvation has come through their fall to me and to you. Hallelujah. Israel was blinded for you and me. To the Gentile. We provoke them to jealousy. Hallelujah. The truth of the message of the hour provoke Israel to jealousy. That's why when Abraham was going one day, he said, I am going to Israel. If I get in there and I'll manifest Christ to them. The same thing they read in the New Testament. From letter to letter, from page to page, will be manifested. We are not talking about somebody just coming to put one prophecy. No. We are talking about the summit of the heart of man. To even tell you what you're thinking about. Tell you what you're praying about. Tell you your life from the time you're born until when you're standing there. And it is 100% correct. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That was the second pool of the message. The second pool was the summit of spirit. The first pool was to hear the second. And the third pool is to declare the word of God. Hallelujah. The spoken word. The original seed. That was the pool that pulled the bride together. That's what the bride is fixing up. But the prophet said, I am going there. If I perform these signs, they truly will know that Christ has been manifested. Because he declared in Luke 17, 30, as it was on the day of Sodom, so shall it be when the Son of Man is being revealed. But on his way, God stopped him there in Egypt. Said, don't go any further. Hallelujah. Don't go any further. And because he's a true prophet, when God speaks, as you shall see in the message, God spoke in many ways. And he answered. When God tell him to stop, he stopped. Hallelujah. He's doing the will of his father who sent him to bring the bride back to him. Hallelujah. Amen. He was Eliezer. Hallelujah. Amen. That was sent to go bring a wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Unto Isaac. He's just doing the work of his father. Hallelujah. Amen. And there he was. He could go no further because the days of the Gentiles were not over. Because the Gentile ministry is still pushing up. And when the days of the Gentiles are over, God will open the eyes of Israel by sending them a prophet, which was declared in Revelation chapter 11. And that prophet, when he comes down, God will
we make sure it's the same prophet they know. God declared Revelation 11, 11. He was that prophet that stopped the Red Sea. And he declared again, he was the other prophet that stopped the rain. The ministry of Elijah and Elisha. Elijah and Moses. The ministry of Elijah and Moses is coming back again to the Jews. Hallelujah. And when Elijah comes to the Jews, he will complete grace. Hallelujah. 
You love the Lord? Amen. That's my little testimony here and there. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't you loosen things up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my. God bless you, people. Love you. See, they have humble and should fall. They stop. God forbid, but rather, through their fall, salvation has come. Salvation has come unto Gentile to provoke them to jealousy. 12. Now, if the fall of them be the riches to the world, and the dim diminishing of them is also the riches to you, the Gentile, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you, Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office, Paul said, but if by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, I might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall be receiving of them be but life from the dead? For the first fruit be holy, the Lord is also holy, and if the roots be holy, so are the branches. Do I have the branches here? Say amen. amen. And if some of the branches be broken up, and thou be the wild olive branch, that's the Gentile. The Gentiles are the wild olive tree. We are grafted in, we are the Gentiles. Wild and grafted in. Because we are not in the original. We are grafted in. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the Gentile. But remember, this is what man saw. But God has seen something even further, as we shall see. When you are grafted in, it's not by accident. It's not by sudden. You are grafted in because it was a plan of God. Hallelujah. Amen. As we shall see, your name was written in the last book of life before the foundation of the world. Amen. So he that's in you did not come by accident. Amen. You were given to him. Amen. Oh my. Amen. Amen. Oh, particulars of the root and fathers of all the tree. Let's finish this. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the roots thee. Thou will say, the branches were broken off, I might be grafted in. Well, because of the unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You love the Lord. Amen. Oh, for if God spared not the natural branches, who are the natural branches? Israel. Take heed, lest you also spare not thee. Behold, therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which fails everything, but do us the goodness if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off. And they also, if they abide not, still in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, you and I, we are grafted contrary to the nature into a good olive tree. How much more shall this, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? For I will not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. Hallelujah. It's a mystery. A mystery is not explained to everyone. Hallelujah. The seven seals is a mystery. Hallelujah. And God said it will not be explained until Revelation 10 7 is fulfilled. Revelation 10 7 on the day of the voice of the seven angel. When it begins to sound, the mystery of God is finished. Amen. It's a mystery. You might not like it, but it is the word of God. Apostle Paul is a mystery. You should be wise in your own consciousness. He's telling you it's a mystery, so don't lean on your own understanding. That's what he's saying here. 
lest you should be wise in your own conceit. That blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentile. That's why Brother Abraham didn't go to Israel. Because it was not the fullness of the Gentile. And he had to take a prophet from there to reveal unto them so they can accept that prophet. Amen. But that prophet will preach the same message you're hearing now. Amen. Hallelujah. That prophet will preach the message of the hour. Amen. Because the message of the hour is declaring that Christ is here. Amen. The message of the hour is saying that Christ is God. Amen. That's what the message of the hour is. Is to reveal who Christ is to his people. So that Christ can be in them. That is the whole message of the hour. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's to declare the presence of Christ Jesus. Not a church, not a denomination, not a pope, not any position. He's to let Christ rule his church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God hates the spirit, the spirit of Nicoletia. Hallelujah. He's there in Revelation chapter 2. How can God say, I hate the spirit of Nicoletism? To the subject edges of the first and second. Hallelujah. And Nico is to conquer the laity. God said, I hate that spirit. Man taking control of the church of God. You suffer their position to be like Christ when they are not like Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, I hate that spirit. And whatever God hates, I hate too. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever God hates, I hate. Absolutely. Let every man's word be a lie. Let this word be true. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. You know, we tell this story sometimes, not to be mindful of a color, but it's in kind of a culture thing. You know, we African origin and African Americans and all alike, if you hear a gun shout somewhere, or if you hear that something is wrong here, you run the opposite direction. <laughs> you don't go to see. But <laughs> some, some white people, if they hear something, they're going to, what was that? We don't do that. Hallelujah. You see, you run away from, from it. You don't go towards it. Hallelujah. So if God is telling me, get away, what am I going to see? Oh, how bad is it? Is it, is it as bad as God said? Let me see. Let me see. And the woman there, naked, really? Let me see. What are you looking for? Get away from it. I'm sorry to say, the poor souls that lost their life this week. I'm sorry that they lost their life. The people that went to see Titanic, one of the richest guys in Pakistan and billionaires, he took his son to deep dive and go see where Titanic sank. And when they went there, whatever they were in, they said busted, they say busted, like a balloon, the thing busted. And they were looking for them for the whole week and they start seeing the remnants of what they were with, so they know they're all there. They're going to see where Titanic is at the bottom of. Do you, you want to go? You see, we don't, we don't go see. We hear black person. We don't. I'm like, okay, it's at the bottom of the ocean. That's good. You stay right there. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, why, why are we going to see what Christ said? Don't go see. Stay away. Come out from them, my people. Hallelujah. It's dangerous. On 26. And so, hallelujah. This is very interesting. The scripture says here, all Israel shall be saved. Hallelujah. He didn't tell you that all Jews shall be saved. Though there's a difference between Jews and Israel. Hallelujah. Jews, they are making up of everyone ever. Abraham has ever had, except Ishmael, who doesn't call himself Jew. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All the sons of Esau and, and the rest of them, and they're all Jews. But Israel are the sons of Jacob. Hallelujah. Amen. And within the sons of Jacob, there are the real sons of Jacob. And God gave us their number, which we shall touch a little bit in the book of Revelation, chapter 7. How many there are that are saved? But here we're going to refer to the scripture. All Israel shall be saved. There shall come out from Zion a deliverer. He shall turn away ungodliness 
from Jacob. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We do it all the time. We teach and preach at the same time. Now, what about Christ being in you? Give me Colossians 1, 15 to 29. Identify Christ in you. The mighty God of veil inside of you. Colossians 1, 15 to 29. Who is the image of the invisible God? The firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are even in heaven. Oh my. You see who Christ is? Even in heaven, all things were created by him. Hallelujah. Amen. So by him, he created everything. So who is God? You see why the nation missed it? You see why they will, they will go, you go, you say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy. Wait, what, are, what are you talking about? With all these denominations, what are you talking about? What, what, what are you saying? You making sense? You see, when I was little, like, I go to Anglican church, they say that, I always know something is wrong. And there's one creed they say, they say is that they believe in Roman Catholic. And, and, so what, what are they saying? It makes no sense. And now I know why I am different. Amen. By Him, Him alone, heaven, everything that was made. And also things that are on this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only the ones you can see, the ones you cannot see too. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Say, I love you, Lord. Amen. Say, I love you, Jesus Christ. Oh, so blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For opening our eyes to see these things. Whether they are in throne, whether they are even a dominion, even if it's principalities, or even power, all things. Oh, man. Hallelujah. I think we can just go over the Patrick. Yeah, hallelujah. If this food is enough to take us for the next until we all come hungry. Because if I if I walk around every day and say, Lord, everything was made by you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all he needs to hear from me. Acknowledge his presence. That's right. Don't ever think you are alone, Sister Zoe. He, he, he made everything. He's aware of everything. Everything. He didn't say certain things. But I want not something, everything. Whatever they are. It's in control. Throne, dominion, principal power, whatever. There's nothing. That's why greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. We shall read a little bit from the prophet because the prophet, he, he, he went into singing with it. And, and I love the way he presented it. He used every character you can find in the Bible to justify that greater is he that was in them than he that was in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he, I, I love the way Brother Branham preaches. It does something to me. I can never get used to listening to him. Because each time I sit back and listen, I lose my mind. I have to come back to earth. You just lose your mind. Hallelujah. You just see the power of God through the word. Not just a man writing some literature or some, I don't know, thesis. We know how to write thesis. Trust me, I've written thousands of thesis. I still write it every day. I write thesis and share with my company. And I say, thesis. So that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. The power of the authority of the world. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Who is he that can speak to the wind? And the wind will obey him. Amen. Christ did and the prophet did, which I read it. It's on the message. Greater is it that's in you. He spoke to the wind at Colorado. And the wind stopped and obeyed him. Oh. Told the wind be still. The wind stopped. He went to Germany. And they were totally and they were doing some voodoo to destroy the way he was ha having a very good tent meeting. And he saw the people chanting, 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 chanting. And they chanted for thunder, lightning coming down. And he stepped aside and he called the God and asked him by fire. He said, If I be the prophet of God, thunder be still. And thunder stopped. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Me die, believer, friends. I don't care if I have friends or not. Amen. Let me be a believer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I find treasure. Hallelujah. Amen. I can be alone by myself and just, as a believer, I'm fine. Amen. I don't care who calls me, who doesn't call me. 
Only him. I just stay there. Because I'm happy. Are you happy, friends? Are you happy? Don't let nobody can make you happy. It's only him. That's right. Amen. If you think the things we see will make you happy, you're the most miserable person. Amen. If you think your job will make you happy, no, I'm sorry for you. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Your job, what job? Amen. If you die, you put somebody else in one second. Amen. If they don't make you money, they close that company. While you are asleep, they will send you an email, don't come. Mm. You think you're important, think again. No, you ain't important. <laughs> Be wise. And you know, it's just a number. Yeah. On the spreadsheet, you're just a dot. That's right. The, the, you know what you're called? Yeah. A resource. Yeah. In project management, you're all resources. Yeah. A resource. Yeah. And what do you do with resource? Use it, mm -hmm. leave it. That's, that's it. Amen. You don't even have a name. Yeah. You think you have a name? You don't have a name. Yeah. Well, I think they'll love you and they'll hug you. Oh, please. <laughs> you're miserable. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm you're just a thought. Thank you, Jesus. you don't have a name in the book. That's right. When you look at the balance sheet, yeah. they have no clue. <laughs> they might say, oh, let's get rid of, it's called percentage. Yeah. Let's get rid of 40%. <laughs> you receive your 40%. And they will come to the board meeting. We're doing good. Yeah. How is the number looking? It's look, it looking better now. Yeah. It's looking much better, much better. Okay, go, go, go. Tighten the belt. Sure, sure, sir. That's, that's it. That's what you're going to make you happy? Are you sure? Oh, man. You, know, you poor, miserable person. You say you're important for your company. They can't do without you. Really? I have a boss. If somebody says, I want to leave, I'm giving you two weeks. You know what she tells me? Tell them to leave right away. I'm telling you. But I said, no, I won't do that. Oh, yeah. That has happened three times already while I'm there. In my departments, I run more than eight departments for her. She said, Paul, they gave you a notice here. Tell them to leave. I said, no, I, I can't do that. So that's not me. Let them stay two weeks. I said, tell them to leave. We don't need them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is that what will make you not to worship God, those things? That's very important. That will make you not to worship the Lord. Not to take this message to her. Friends, when the door open, just like you came today, God bless you, keep coming. Amen. Friday, level to come. Amen. You are showing good example, not only to yourself, to the children. Amen. And when I drop dead, I know where I'm going. Amen. I am sure, as I know my name. Are you sure? Amen. Are you sure? Amen. If your heart doesn't condemn you, the Bible says, ask whatever you want, it's given to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, we go and make a living, but we are not in this world. Yes, we are talking about the world and who we are. We are not in this world. Yes. Hallelujah. We are, we, are, we are existing to make a living and, and get out. Yes. But we didn't come from this world. Yes. I came from above. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I came from a kingdom. Yes. I'm a king. Yes. I'm a subject of the kingdom above. Yes. And when my days are over, yes. I will go to where I came from. Verse 7. 
He's the one in you and I. Make no mistake about it. He's the one speaking. Nevertheless, I'll tell you the truth. Oh, it's expedient. It's very important, said the Lord. It's expedient for me that I go away. If I go not away, the comforter will not come to you. But if I depart from this world, I will send you unto you. Hallelujah. And when he is come, he will reprove. He will correct this world. That's what we're doing. Hallelujah. You see, we're not talking of ourselves. But that's what the message is going to do. It's to reprove this world. It will reprove this world of sin. Hallelujah. He didn't say we condone the sin of the world. Reprove this world of sin. That's why my brother testified. I said, God bless you. Hallelujah. There's something in you. Because otherwise, you wouldn't know any better. I've seen some pastors whose wives are wearing shirts. Oh, man. You go to Nigeria, many of the pastors there, they come asking you for alcohol. Yeah. Give them boxes, cartons of beer to drink. Some people say they prefer to drink stout. They say it's good for their stomach. Yeah, I've had the pastors. Or is it the one people that sleep with other people's wife? Or people's daughter? Yeah, the testimony I have was some of the testimonies. Rubbish. Even a message pastor gets young girls pregnant. Somebody's daughter. Say he's a message pastor. I say, no, you're not a message pastor. Mm -hmm. You think you're a message pastor, but you're not. That's why I should check every spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Not every door opens, you run in there. Because they put out the door, message believers. Be careful. Check the spirit. That's right. Check the spirit. Check it. Check it out. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If the spirit is foul, run. Run away. I had a brother tell me some funny stories. I won't repeat some of them here. Pastor sitting there looking at women sitting in the floor. Any message, church? So I see which one is your sleep with. That's right. And I just shook my head. I said, really? Check every spirit. Hallelujah. Because the right spirit will reprove sin. Amen. Amen. That's right. The right spirit will reprove sin. It will condone sin. There is a sister that used to come here with a little boy, if you remember, from, from Mexico. Remember this? Okay, know why you don't see her anymore, brother? Because I told her she cannot wear pants and come to church. That's right. Downstairs. I even gave her money to go buy a dress. She's not looking again. Yes, many of them. She's not alone. But that's okay. Hallelujah. The number will grow and the number will shrink. Brother Patrick, he says, squeeze. Growth, shrinks. Growth, he says, it's okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will grow, it will shrink. Because when you tell the truth, it shrinks. Hallelujah. You see, a, a brother comes, brother tells us he's married, brother leaves his wife, a brother wants me to shake his hand and say, you're a good brother. I look and say, brother, <laughs> your soul wrong is not even fun. Your soul is going to hell. The brother say, I say, you have what I told you? I told him. You might not call me again. It's okay. Hallelujah. Because the right spirit will say the right thing. It's not about popularity. Of course I love to see brothers and everybody come to church and see. Of course. I don't want to preach to an empty chair. Nobody wants that. Hallelujah. But that will not be to compromise the truth. So if you're ready to get married, make sure you're ready to get married. That's right. And make sure when you're married, you stay with your wife. Hallelujah. There'll be rough roads, right, Brother Solomon? You are elder. You, you've been on this for a long time, you know? You know, sometimes you might go outside to get some air. You know, cool off and come back. <laughs> you know, that's right. It's, all, it's normal. Things might get heated up a little bit. Pressure, pressure. Did you not happen to Brother Abraham? Did you not see that in the message? One day he came back and the wife told him to spank his son, Joseph. He didn't want to do it. And the wife banged it all. So each time I tell you something of God. And that grieved the Spirit of God. Isn't it why she got two more? 
She got two more. That's the result. Hallelujah. And upon the bed before such rain, the prophet prayed and said, Lord, help her. She has been so nice to me. But I know, you know, she just got a little upset. Please, I'm going to propose. Go, go and pray for her. So before the knife was about to touch her, the prophet was there. And when the doctor went in there, they looked at the picture, they saw nothing. The tumor was so big, said the prophet. It was as big as an orange, but it was disappeared. But what brought it up was pressure and stress. So learn, hallelujah. Don't argue, don't force, don't fight, but learn to stay away. Hallelujah. Men always have a little corner, they can just sit there sometimes. Just sit there, just you know, relax. Don't get into your wife business too much, you know? Mm. Hallelujah. If you want to go shopping, give her the key and say, yeah, you can go and come. Because you know what happens when you go all the time? You're fussy. You're like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. It's like, hold on. I just saw this. I think it's on sale. On sale. Let's go home. You can understand, but that's their nature. Hallelujah. But Patrick, you see, you, you know, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the life we live in. You know, there are no sales. And my wife knows all the sales and even, even groceries that are on sales, she knows. <laughs> For me, I start by shop right, I pick up, I pick up chicken anyway. She can't buy that one. I said, not a one. She said, there's still chicken. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's relax a little bit again. Hallelujah. See, and of righteousness and of judgment on nine. Because of sin, they don't believe. Because they believe not on me of sin. Of righteousness, because I go to my father and you see, they will not see me no more. Of judgment, because the prince of this world. So this world has a prince. The prince of this world is judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you can't obey them now. How be when he, the spirit of the truth has come, he will guide you into all the truth. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. He will show you things that are to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it. Who shall he glorify? Jesus Christ. He shall glorify Jesus Christ. So if you have the right spirit, if you have the Holy Spirit, it will only glorify Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You receive of mine and shall, shall be given unto you. Hallelujah. Let's go a little bit. I'm going to stop at seven. I'm going to stop at uh, Yeah, hallelujah. Oh, I said, I was so happy. All things are the Father given unto man, therefore, said he, he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. A little while you shall not see me again, but a little while again you shall see me, because I go to my Father. Then said some of the disciples among themselves, what is it that is saying? A little while you shall not see me again. A little while you shall see me, because I go to my Father. They say, therefore, what is this thing that he said? I don't know why. We cannot tell what way he said. Now Jesus knew. They were desired to ask him. He said unto them, now that this one meant, he said unto them, do you employ among yourself for that I say? A little while that you shall not see me, and a little while you shall see me. Verily I say unto you that you shall weep and lament. The world, the cosmos, the world, they will rejoice. The, you shall be sorrowful, but shall turn into joy. A woman that in travail has sorrow, her power is come. But as soon as she delivered of the child, she remembered no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. And ye now therefore have a sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man can take it away from you. In that day you shall ask of me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, in his name, the name of Jesus Christ, not in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost, in his name. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Then he will give it to you. He that go, oh, you are asked nothing in my name. You see, he's telling them before now. You have not asked anything in my name. That's what he means. He that told before now. He have not asked anything in my name. Why? Because he has not been revealed unto them who he is and what his name means. But he said unto them, and you shall ask nothing and receive, that your joy shall be fulfilled. On 25, these things have I spoken unto you. I spoke to you in Proverbs, said the Lord, but the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall show you plainly their father, oh my. At that day, when you know plainly the father, at that day, then you ask in my name. And I say unto you again, I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loved the Son. Because he have loved me and have believed that I came out of God. I came forth from the Father. And I am come into the world again. And I leave this world again. And I go to my Father. Oh, his disciples said unto him, Lo, Lo, now he speaks to us plainly. He's speaking to us with no proverb. Hallelujah. Amen. You love the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. On 31, let's read. Now, now Jesus said to them, Do you now believe? Amen. Do you now believe? That's why we sing, Now I believe. Oh, now. Second, this is not the bride. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Part of this group, you can say, are the foolish virgins. Hallelujah. They are not the wise virgin. Hallelujah. I don't want to be in this group. They are the virgin, but foolish. Hallelujah. They don't have enough oil in their lamp. Hallelujah. So they have to go through tribulation. Hallelujah. But I will not be here for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's my joy. Hallelujah. That's another group that showed up right after them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israel, he's showing up. Hallelujah. Actually, Israel was right before them. Let's go up to verse 1 of the same chapter 7, Revelation. Let's identify Israel. We read that all Israel shall be saved. But hallelujah. But they were numbered that ought to be saved. And the, these things I saw four angels. They are standing on the four corners of the earth. They are holding the four wings of the earth. That the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the sail of the living God. He cried with a loud voice to the four angels, whom it was given to go and hurt the earth, and hurt the, and the sea. And he was saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the tree, till we have sailed the servants. Hallelujah. Remember, the Gentiles are not servants of God. And the prophet told us right. Abraham is a servant. His seeds, they are the servant. The Gentiles are not servants of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You love the Lord? Amen. See, and our God has in their forehead on, on four. And I had a number of them which are sealed. They have a number. Hallelujah. In Israel. And they were sealed. A hundred and forty and four thousand of the tribe of the children, even some denomination again say these are the bride. The blind is leading the blind. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they think you can do whatever you want to do and you just throw it into heaven. No, it will not be that case. Hallelujah. Amen. Heaven has got some strict restriction. Hallelujah. Amen. Heaven has got some strict restriction. But the strict of that restriction is revealed in simplicity. Oh. The number of them were sealed. There were 144,000 of the tribe of Israel of five. Another tribe. Now I begin to give you the number from each tribe. Of the tribe of Judah, you have 12,000. Reuben, 12,000. Hallelujah. The tribe of God, 12,000. Hallelujah. Tribe of Asa, 12,000. Naphtali, 12,000. Manasseh, 12,000. Simeon, 12,000. Levi, 12,000. Issachar, 12,000. Hallelujah. Zebulun, 12,000. It's a roll call, friends. When the roll call is called up here and down. Amen. Are we there? Amen. We are calling roll calls now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Joseph. 12,000. Oh, Benjamin! 12,000. Uh, Hallelujah. Okay. And beheld, now there's another group that we saw, which we just identified. So we've identified two groups here now. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, All Israel shall be saved. The Israel are numbered. Then that know their God, then that will accept who they are. God has numbered them 144,000, and they will be sealed. And so are the Gentiles, some of them who will go through tribulation. But the bride, where are the bride? Show me the bride. Revelation 19, let's see. Revelation 19, let me go 19 from 1 to 16 real quick. Oh, that was a wonderful scripture there when I read it. And after these things, I had a great voice of the most people in heaven. They will say, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And for true and righteous are the judgment for he had judged the great hall which did corrupt the earth and have fornication and have faith the blood of his servant at her hand. And again they say, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and, 
and the bees and they fell down and they worshiped God that sat on the throne. They were saying, Amen. Amen. Even when they say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And the voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God. All ye servants, all ye that fear him, but small and great. And I heard as it were a voice of great multitude. A voice of many water, a voice of mighty thundering. They are saying, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! For the Lord God of many poor and remnant. Uh, let us now be glad and rejoice. Let us give honor to Him for the marriage, the bride, the marriage of the Lamb who has come. His wife has made herself ready. To her I was granted she should be arrayed in fine linen, Amen. clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. He said unto me, Right. Hallelujah. Right. Right, said Paul said to John. Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. He said unto me, these are, this saying, they are true sayings of God. Not play with the word of God, friends. Hallelujah. But the word was so powerful. You see, when Brother Abraham was here, when he walks around, when he speaks to people, when they come to a meeting, when you just show up in his house, when you will be in his house and call you and tell you whatever, and they, they were so powerful. And they did exactly what Revelation 19 10 said. They did exactly here. They fell at his feet to worship him. Oh, hallelujah. Because he's a type of John. Hallelujah. Bringing the message to the bride. Hallelujah. But the bride saw that the messenger was so powerful that it seemed like they would now worship the messenger. And that's what John wanted to do here. John again became the bride in the same instant. And John became the bride here now again trying to worship the messenger, the angel, who was showing him these things. Hallelujah. Amen. And when John wanted to do it, there was a rebuke. Amen. Hallelujah. Sit down, do it not. Don't do it. Amen. Don't call him God. Don't call him Jesus. Yes, Don't baptize in his name. Don't do that. Amen. The prophet said, if you do that, you make me anti-Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, but the true bride can place the word. Don't mislocate the word. But eat the word and be kept the word. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Let's in the name of the living God. Oh, the servant said, I am thy fellow servant. I am of thy brother. Oh, have the testimony of Jesus. Hallelujah. Worship God. Why? For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. If you want to prophesy, testify of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to prophesy, testify of the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want to have a powerful prayer, testify of the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you will see his glory manifested before you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Show me the bride again. Revelation 21. Give me Revelation 21. Hallelujah. Talk from verse 1 to 10 real quick. Hallelujah. I have so much things from the prophet, but time, if time doesn't permit, and I stand there. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth, they were passed away, and there were no more sea. And I, John, I saw the holy city. See, that's the city Jesus said, I am going to beg for you. It's a new Jerusalem. It's coming down from God. It's coming out of heaven. Hallelujah. He was prepared as a brother done for her husband. Amen. Hallelujah. And I had a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He will dwell with them. He, they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. And he shall be their God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes. There 
shall be no more death, there will be no more sorrow, there will be no more crying, there will be no more pain, all the former things are all passed away. And he said, that sat on the throne and said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write for these words I again. They are true and they are faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega and the beginning. I am the end. I will give unto him that I test. The fountain of the water of Freddy to drink. Hallelujah. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God. He shall be my son. But the fearful, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the homongers, the sorcerers, adulterers, the liars, all that have part in the lake shall be born with fire, that brimstone which is the second death. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which are the seven vials, full of the seven last plague. Hallelujah. He talked with me. And he said to me, come up, come here. Hallelujah. I will show thee the bride. Hallelujah. Are they here? Amen. Amen. Come. John was told, I will show you the bride. Amen. Who are they? The Lamb's wife. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the group that I'm in. Amen. Are you one of them this morning? Amen. Are you one of them this morning? Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the living God. Oh, he that's in you. Oh, there's so much here. And now, if you allow me, just a few minutes now, let's hear the prophet. Oh, there's so much here to say. But I'm going to do it this way. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to go. I'm going to start with, first of all, the unveiling God before us. 1964. I still have some verses there that I want to read. We will move forward. forward. 1964, that should be, sister, if you find it, uh, that should be June 29, 1964. We select a few verses. And Job, and Job, God was so real to him. He was so real to him. He wanted to find out if he could go knock at his door and have an interview with him. But we find out that God did speak to him. But he was veiled. He was veiled in the form of a wild wind. He told Job to guide up his lawyer. He was going to speak to him like a man. And he came down in a wild wind and spoke to Job. He made him known to Job through the wild wind, yes. Did not exactly see him. He could just hear the wind blowing, turning around in the tree. And the voice came out of the wild wind, but God was veiled in the wild wind. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God was veiled at the time. At 37. The prophet talked about his daughter here, about the drama in school. You know how when in drama you have characters that are veiled. So you say, my daughter present here just had a high school drama, and then one boy that he played about four parts, and he could go behind the stage and, and change and smash and, and come back again in order to come back to impersonate another character. Now, if you will just have the Old Testament prophecies concerning what the Messiah was going to be, you can compare it with the life of Jesus. And you can it exactly who Jesus was. He was not just an ordinary man. He was God, a moth. He was changed from, from the supernatural into the natural form of a man. Yet, he was God manifested in flesh, veiled by a human flesh. Amen? Amen. He was veiled. I'm 55. Hallelujah. Now, in my home, said the prophet, I am, I'm, I'm, I am three people in my home. My wife has claimed to me as a husband, 
my daughter claims to me, not as a husband, but as a father. My little grandson, he claims to me, not be as a father, but my, as a grandfather. But I'm still the same man. And God, what he does, he has changed himself to become that generation, you see, to make known to himself, to the people. And that's what God is. Where we are here to find out is in the way God's supposed to make himself known to his people and his time. He has masked on. He, he changes his act. He doesn't change his disposition. He doesn't change his nature. He just changes his mask from one to another. He does it to reveal himself more plain to the people that they might know who he is and what he is. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Hebrews, we know that God in some time, diverse manner, he spoke the, through the Father to the prophet. But in this last day, through his son Jesus. Now the prophet Jesus said, when he was here on earth, they were gods. Said they were gods. You call these gods who the word of God came to. And the scripture cannot be broken, he said. Say, how can then you condemn him when he is the son of God? The word of God is allotted to each age what it had to be. And Jesus was the fulfillment of the prophecies. In him dwell, dwell the fullness of God, godly bodily. It was in him. He was the one that was in Joseph. He was the one that was in Elijah. He was the one that was in Moses. He is the one that was in David, rejected king. His own people had rejected him as king. See, caught here and a little afflicted fellow, crawling, did not even like the government the system, and he spit upon him. See, and the God pulled his sword. When I lift that tongue and hell on him, speaking of my king, and David maybe not realizing what he was doing at that time, but he was anointed. And he said, let him alone. And God will tell him what to do. And he climbed up to the hill. And he went for Jerusalem. He rejected the king. Did you notice a few hundred years ago, again, the son of David fell his spit, the spit upon him in the street. He was in the hill of the mountain. They're looking down through Jerusalem. He rejected the king. He cried, Jerusalem, how far off would I have covered you as a hand did for the brood? But you would not. He never changed his nature because Hebrews 13 years is correct. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. Verse 71. It's so true. So God in the beginning was life, eternal one, and he was attribute. Those attributes became worlds, and the world became flesh. Jesus was the redeemer, and to redeem means to bring back. If he has to bring it back, he had to be somewhere to be brought back to. So you see, all people will never be able to see it. Because all people wasn't in the beginning in God's thought. See, look at the priest. When they see him express himself exactly what the word and what he was to be, they call him Bezabal. That showed where the nature of the world. It was the same modern art today. But when the little prostitute who met him at the gate told her, expressed his Messiah sign by telling her what she had done, why she said it, sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. We know the Messiah. When he cometh, he will tell us these things. He was recognizing him as a Messiah, the anointed one, because he met the scripture qualification. Don't you see? The two pieces of paper were coming together. We know that we when the Messiah comes. Now God might have to, to interpret this and that to this certain thing, to the bell like the boulder. But when God comes said, I am he that speaks with you. There was no such expression as visible. She let her have. Let her water pot down, ran into the city, come see a man who told me the things that I have done. Isn't this the very Messiah? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Allah 176 said, Bro, now when Jesus come, he come with he come with, he come with new message. He wouldn't walk when Jesus came to build an ark and to float on it. He wouldn't have walked. But that was Noah, a person for God. He acted a peculiar way because he was peculiar and his presence was peculiar because it was the word of God made manifest. He could not have come with Moses' message because he wouldn't have walked. Moses was God in a portion made manifest. He was the word expressed for that very hour. But Jesus could not come in that. The Bible never said he will come like that. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, but when he comes, his presence is already sitting. Hallelujah. And he said he will do. Hallelujah. I have to cut it down. It's of time. Oh, I was there. As I played the prophet, rang the song. As I was in America, so I was in Christ. I love that. So I'm going to read that for us. And I hope it becomes inspiration in your spirit to lift up your heart for prayer soon. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Proverbs, it also says that before the mountains were made, I was there. I was a treasure. He found me at that time. And the prophet took that and he just ran with it and see it along the way. Of course, he presents everything. You can read better than anybody I've seen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want 177. Hallelujah. I said, yeah, just like if I want to be a true American. Hallelujah. Just like if I want to be a true American, I've got to be identified with everything that she was. Everything she is. I've got to be identified with it if I am a true American. If I am a true American, then I landed on Plummer Rock. Amen. I did. If I am an American, so did you. You landed on Plymouth Rock with the previous fathers. On Plymouth Rock. When they landed out there, I was with them. So was you, everyone. I rode with Paul River right down the road to one part of danger. That's exactly right. Right down there in Valley Forge, I crossed the ice in Delaware with a bunch of soldiers. Half of them didn't even have shoes. Oh, I prayed all night with John Washington beforehand. I crossed the Delaware with the vision in my heart. We are Americans, yes, sir. At Valley Forge, I suddenly did. I returned thanks. I return thanks to the original Thanksgiving Father. I return thanks to God. If I am a real American, I was identified there at that table. If I am a real American, I was identified when I stood with Stonewall Jackson. I am a real American. I was identified with the Boston Tea Party. Yes, sir. When we refused to, to have things pulled out of our eyes, we are real Americans. I was identified there with that. Yes, sir. Oh, my. I ran the Liberty Bell the first 4th of July, 1776. I ran the Liberty Bell here. I declare that we are independent to be a real Americans. Yes, I did. I was identified with her shame in the revolutionary. When brothers fought against brother, I've got to bear her shame the same as I have to bear the glory. If I am a real American, I have to be. I was identified with her, yes, sir. I was identified at Gettysburg down there. There when Lincoln made that speech, yes, sir. I was on Wet Island. Over the bloody soldiers, body, I rose up and I went out. I was on guard, I helped hold the flag. I'm a real American. Amen. All she is, I am. I am proud of it. Yes, indeed. All American has been all she is. I'm still that to be American. Everything she is, I have to be because I'm identified with her. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, Let's turn the page now. The prophet continues now. I say now, same thing by being a true Christian. He's trying to tell you something. As a real American, you identify with everything America is. As a real Christian, you must be identified as well. So here he said, you see, I have to be identified with it. I preached with Moses, with Noah. I want the people of the oncoming judgment to be real Christians. See, I was with Moses at the burning bush. I saw the pillar of fire. I saw his glory. I was with Moses up there in the wilderness to be a Christian. I have to be identified with everything God was to be a Christian. I have seen his glory. I heard his voice. Don't try to explain it away from me because I was there. I know what I am talking about. I see what happened. Yes, sir. I was at the Red Sea. When I see the Spirit 
of God moved down. And he packed the water from one side to another side. Not through a bunch of reeds that they are trying to say today, but through about a 90 foot sea. I see the Spirit of God. I walked with Moses through that dry ground across the Red Sea. I stood, I stood there by Mount Sinai and I see the thunder and the lightning they were falling. I ate manna with dead people out there. I drank from that rock. I am still doing it tonight. Hallelujah! I'm still doing it today. I will do it until I die. I was identified with the manna eaters. I was identified with them when they drunk from that rock. I was also identified with Joshua when I blew the trumpet and the walls of Jericho came crumbling down. I was in lion's den with Daniel. I was in the fiery furnace in the Hebrew boys. I was there with, Mount, with Elijah on Mount Carmel. I was with John the Baptist before the critics. I seen the Spirit of God descending. I heard the voice of God say, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased to dwell in. Yes, sir. I sure was identified with him. That's exactly right. I was identified there at the grave of Lazarus when he raised us out from the dead. I was identified with the woman at the well when he told her her sin, yes sir. I surely was identified with him in his death. I was identified with him on the first Easter. I was raised up with him from dead. I was identified with him in his death. I was with the 120 in the upper room. I was identified up there with them. Hallelujah! Oh my! I was identified there. I am one of them, said the prophet. I was identified. I got the same experience they had. Hallelujah! Oh, keep the heart of my love, Lord. Oh, keep it by the Lord until I speak no more. Oh, blessed be the name Amen. of the living God. Blessed be his holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I was there when it happened. To be a true Christian, I witnessed the mighty Russian wind coming down. I felt the power of God and it shook the whole place. I was with them, they spoke in tongues. I was there. I felt the anointing coming there. I was with them. I was identified with them when the Holy Ghost began to speak through the tongue with them. I was with Peter before the critics in Acts chapter 2. When he preached the great sermon that he said, I was identified with him. Yes, sir. In Acts chapter 4, when they assembled together, I was with them. With the building shot, I was there. I prayed with them in the meeting. And the building shook, and they were sitting. I was identified there with them. I preached with Paul on Mars Hill. Yes, sir. I was with John on the island of Patmos. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hear our voice on the heaven. I cannot do our voice on the heaven. Oh, bless me the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was with Wesley. At the fire hand, that's not from the fire. I was great before so again the Anglican church. I was there with them. And here I am here, 1964. I'm in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And then the fire with some kind of a group with the same kind of an experience. I must be to be a Christian. I must stay identified with the word of God is being manifested. I've identified. With a group that feel the spirit of God. I'm identified with a group that knows that he's unveiled. Knows he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. That knows that this is not a fanatism. It is Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm identified with that group here. Yes, they are called them a bunch of heretics, a bunch of fanatics on account of the word of God. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. I am not one. I am one of them. I'm with them. I'm living in the epistle I spoke of. Vindicated. God veiled in human form. A man and woman. Oh, God in them all again. Unveil himself. He make himself known to his people. 
The great king who laid aside the glory. Yet a little while, the world will see me no more. And you will see me. I'll be veiled to them, but he shall see me. For I'll be with you, and even in you, until the day of the consummation, changing from Luther to Wesley, to go all the way from glory unto glory. And I am still the same God that live. And I am going back to the original glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's give me a few more minutes. Love the prophets. Amen. Love the prophets. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Who gave us such word to lead us until the end. Now let's go on. A little, a little bit. He that's in you. Hallelujah. He that's in you. Don't close. He that's in you. 1963. November 10. He that's in you. November 10. Thank you, Jesus. I just have to like few lines there from my 23 to 25 and a few lines. My 23. Prophet said, He that's in you. Says here, not afraid, new one. He seemed not afraid. Thought he was here, he said. I miss him. I said there. He was standing two miles away. When I had the exploration of the rock and something else went off. Hallelujah. And the angel, see, the angel that set back with the message, the angel that came with the message of the hour, the final message. This is the opening of the seal. Prophet said, the angel, and, and he was there in the pyramid form. And I showed you what it will be in here. I told you how they have been standing before I left, how the angels will stand and come and give the message to reveal the seals. See, photograph after photograph across the country, they took a picture. Being 30 miles, 30 miles high, 70 feet, 77, 27 miles across. And so high that they, even their moist could not be there. Moisture couldn't travel over 80 or, or 9 miles high. Then, they were out a place where they were nothing to make moist. See, this was in thick 27 miles high. And, 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 and there it was. And, and Prophet said, and the Life magazine, they packed it. See, it was a Life magazine. You see, he looked there. Which was it? Look at look at the Life magazine. It, it, they said it, it was a May 17th issue. See, now, there is it. Is scientifically proven. It is the truth. Therefore, we don't worry. Hallelujah. What do you have to worry about? We don't worry. Hallelujah. We don't worry about it. It's the truth. Both scientifically and spiritually. What was said to come to pass? So the message of the seventh seal in their closing, that is the message of the entire Bible. It was a mystery. Hallelujah. That they have been open to the bride. Hallelujah. See, the seventh seal closes the New Testament. Seals it up. That's the truth. Now we know that this is it. By prophetic utterance, by scientific, and by the word. Three has given the witness to it. That is the truth. Therefore, we know we are the end time. We're here. I don't know how far away, but he never let us know that because his coming will be like a thief in the night. By the friends, my brother, my sister, let's just be ready regardless. Let's just chase ourselves. See, because the world will go right on. That's what Jesus said. The world, the not of the world. The world will go right on. You see, 
They will go, hallelujah. But let's just be ready. See, the one we go right now, they will never even know it has happened. When the doors of mercy is closed, preachers will still be preaching salvation. They will be causing people to repent. Going right and there, just in there, doing this. But it did not other age. It will be this age. And the rapture will be so sudden and so quick that the world will never even miss them. They will be gone. We are gone. And they will know nothing about it. He goes and sleeps a heart away. It will be gone. That's no, nothing about it. So be in prayer. Prophecy, pray for me. I pray for you. We don't know when that hour will be, but we believe it is very soon. Stay away from shiny things, talking about the world. Stay with the gospel. See, stay right there now and pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Line 96. We're running up. Hallelujah. Line 96. say here, talking about on the 96 prophet giving the testimony of what happened in Colorado Mountain. He's talking about when he was trying to eat his sandwich. Let's just read a little bit about that. He said, he, he said David made him a little sandwich that morning. He said he was trying to even sit down and eat it and make a sandwich for his daddy. So he fixed me a baloney sandwich, he said. You know, and I was just sitting there trying to eat it. You see, because at this time, prophet is saying this story, at this time, people have left the mountain because they, they, they had they have declared there's going to be a great, a great wind coming, a great snow coming, that you shouldn't stay on the mountain, you may die. There will be no escape. And it's going to be a couple of days. Now, so the prophet said here now. So I started to move on. But something said to me, go back where, you, where you're coming from. He, he said, go back to that storm, a half mile or more, back in the mountain, into that dark timber where you can hardly see anything. But I am getting to be an old man. And I've been a Christian now for 33 years. And I know, I, I know no matter what, how ridiculous is sin. Mind the Lord. Do what the Lord says. And I turned and I went back to other side, feeling my way on the sleek, getting harder and harder, getting darker and darker. And I sit down there. I'm just, my coat was up. I'm like this, and my shirt, and my coat. And I sat down and I thought, what am I doing here? Why would I come back up here? I just waited for a few minutes. And I started to get up again. And just as plainly as I have ever wanted to hear, a voice said, Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. A voice said, I am the creator of heaven and of earth. I make the winds and I make the rain. Prophet said, I took off my heart. I said, great Jehovah, is that you? He said, I was the one who made the way to seize upon the sea. I was the one who made the waves to go down. I created the heaven and the earth. The mighty God of hell, even in his people. I created the heaven and the earth. Does that not sound a revelation to you? That's not the voice of Christ speaking to John. Hallelujah. He spoke that way. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. Because he's got a message for the bride. And the messenger must be vindicated for the bride to receive the messenger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The message is already vindicated. The message is Jesus Christ. But the messenger has to be vindicated. So you can accept the message from the messenger. You believe say amen. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. If, if I walk in here and I have a machine in my hand and I'm all bloody and I say, oh, I, I'm a great, I'm a great preacher. So what's in your head? Oh, blood. 
I just killed someone. They said, Come, let me pray for you. He said, Oh, do. They walk backwards, run. Hallelujah. So the messenger has to be vindicated. Amen. So that the message can be received by the people. That's what God did all these things for. Hallelujah. So now, he's talking to Jehovah. Hallelujah. Jehovah is speaking loud. And you he can hear him. He's not in a vision. He's talking to him. They're having a conversation. It's not a vision. Hallelujah. And he said, I was the one who made the winds to cease upon the sea. I was the one who made the waves to go down. I created heaven and the earth. Was not I the one that told you to speak to those for squirrels and they come into existence? I am God. Who? Now, when a voice speaks to you, watch the scripture. If it is not the scripture, you have to leave it alone. I don't care how plain it is. You stay away from it. I said, yes, Lord. He said, speak to those winds. That storm, that they will go away. Now, this Bible lays before me, which is my life, isn't it? I raise up, I say, I do not doubt your voice, Lord. I said, clouds, snow, rain, sleek. I resent your coming in the name of Jesus Christ. Go to your place. I said, sun must come out immediately and shine for four days. Till our hunting trip is over and I will leave with my brethren. It was just gushing, just went like that. And it started to go. And it went woo, 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 and stopped. Hallelujah! We declare this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every doubt. Every unbelief, hear our voice. Amen. The source of the problem are speaking. Amen. We declare strength. Amen. We declare healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. receive whatsoever I can see this morning. In the name of Jesus, this same voice that spoke to my prophet is the voice that speaks to the bride. This same voice is the voice that called the bride of that doctrine. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Gloria. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. My brethren, there, I was happening. A sleek and rain, they stopped. There came a wind. A wild wind through the mountain, lifted up the clouds. And one went this way, east. One went north. One went south. Within a few minutes, the sun was shining. Nice and warm. That's the truth. God knows that's the truth. Oh, you know, you know, when, when God is speaking to his prophet, you know, that he said nobody will believe them. Did Moses not say the same thing? Moses said, Don't believe me. Mm -hmm. Moses said, hey, I tell the story. And I'm in the mountain here. And the bush is burning. Nobody will believe me. They'll think I lost my mind. Please. It's not easy. So when you see this thing, you think people believe? No. They say, oh, we've seen this before. Uh, we saw a man, they say, God spoke to him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Friends, God spoke to his prophet. Amen. Gave him the authority to call the son to come out. And son came out. Like Joshua did. The song came out. Amen. If you read this whole message, you see where the people were shouting and said, You're supposed to snow and rain for four days. What happened? Nothing. Because he was on top of the mountain. And God told him, Speak to the rain, speak to the mountain, speak to speak to the wind, speak to the speak to the call the song. And God honored it. Hallelujah. And he was trying to prove to you that greater is he. That's in him the prophet, that he has in the world. And so in further, he began to declare. He said, Greater is he that's in Moses than he that was in Egypt. And greater is he that was in Joshua than he that was in Jericho. 
You see now? Amen. Greater is he that was in Daniel than he that was in the lion's den. Because the lion was not supposed to eat me and you. Hallelujah. Lion was not supposed to eat me and you. In the garden of Eden, they never ate, they ate Adam. Adam was their father. Adam had authority, but devil got into that lion and all these devil and sickness from devil. But greater is he that's in me and you. Hallelujah. Even greater is he that's in me and you than he that's in the grave. Greater is he that's in me than death himself. Death has no power over me and you. Absolutely not. It's a bluff. He can destroy this temple. But I'll rise again. Hallelujah. Greater is he that's in me and you. And he that's in this world. And everything that scares you. Greater is he has called me to be a Christian than he that started the word of God. Greater is he that's anointed you a child of God. Greater is he that baptized you in the name of Jesus Christ than he that come to torment you and your children. Greater is he that come you under adoption and trials and temptation of this world. Greater. You see, God came to manifest that to the bride. We can be able to withstand the rise of our time. Oh, great. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, prophet, he did that. But time was taking some time. I'm sorry. I just feel sometimes so happy when I see brothers and sisters. You know, we don't see each other too much. But whenever we come, I pray it's a blessing to you so you can continue the journey of life until one day we do this no more. And Jesus said, I will drink this up there with you. Hallelujah. That's our hope. We receive something so treasurous, a treasure. The world doesn't know what we're facing. I think you are just a church. We're just a church on the corner somewhere now. We're more than a church on the corner. Hallelujah. We're the bride of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, now. There it is in you. It's greater. Now he that's in this world. God in you. Now he was in Jesus Christ on like 156. Because what all God was, he poured it on Christ. And Christ was, he poured it on the church. See, that's God in you. He that's in you. No wonder the wings obey. Obey him, obey the words. Obey the words because it was God's word through him. He was a man, but he was the word. He was made flesh, see. And when he spoke, it was God speaking through human lips, see. No wonder the winds and the waves, the very creator that created the winds and the waves was in him. Now, think of it. Think deep, deep, deep now, said the prophet. Think deep. Hallelujah. Before I come to the closing, he said, no wonder. The demons, they are paralyzed at his word. It was God in him. It was God in Christ. The demons were paralyzed. No wonder the dead, the dead that was turning back to the dust could not lay there at his word, for he was the word. He said to Lazarus, after he was dead and stinking for four days, his face and his nose, everything fell in there, and Lazarus came forth. Oh, and a man dead raised up his feet. Why? It was God. He was in Christ. He was God. The dead could not stand in his presence. He was God in Christ. The wings now, remember, God created the wind. It is air. God created the waves. It is water. But when the devil got into it, he got it rumbling to bring destruction. God created men to be sons of God. But when the devil gets into them, see, he's trouble. Now, that was the devil that got into the wings and the storm. And they couldn't, the, the creator created the wind, said, Go back where he came, created. Isn't that the same creator that was standing on, on Colorado Hill, like we just read? Standing on Colorado Hill the other day. Isn't that the same one that could take place of the feast and break it and another piece and grow it on? He, he didn't actually have to have that. He could have said it. Isn't that the same creator that created the squirrels? Remember, Brian created squirrels four times and shot them dead. It is a spoken word. Oh, friends, rejoice this day. You have been liberated from carnality. Liberated from the things of this world. You are the trail of the world. You are the light of this earth. You are the salt of the earth. All oh, your family should rejoice. Sir. For the pride of families, uh, hallelujah. When you call them on the phone, 
to talk to you. I'm not the one that's pricing me. Amen. The hope of glory. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. As we are. See, your phone number now is a number to Christ. Your cell phone. So we've got someone that got that cell phone, they are calling Christ. So when you speak, you speak like Christ. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. If you recognize that with your phone ring, you speak like Christ. Amen. Hallelujah! Let nothing trouble you. Amen. Hallelujah! Right. But Rebecca, when your phone rings on that job, it's Christ speaking, okay, brother? Amen. Let nothing trouble you. Hallelujah! Don't let nothing, nothing, nothing. Amen. Don't let religion take this away from you. Don't do that. Hallelujah! Amen. Stay with it. Stay with it. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Stay with it. Hallelujah! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, is the creator. Huh? The dead could not stand in his presence at his word. Look, we have five bona fide statements of people, said the prophet, who were dead. The Lord giving we vision, vision, and going to them and raising them from dead. Raising the dead, five testimony. The dead being raised. Hallelujah. Here says one of them, one was sitting there. He that died. Right where he's sitting there. He died. There he was alive. He's alive tonight. He fell in a heart attack. There his wife was a nurse. They went down there. Everything was gone. His eyes were set and gone. Here he is now alive. For the greater is he that's in here. In us. Hallelujah. That he that's in this world. Greater is he. It's God, the creator, the wings, the waves, they obey him. Demons become paralyzed. All nature obey him because he was the creator of nature. Oh, when we think that, it, 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 it takes the, it take the part out, you know. Then we understand these things. You see, what is it? It's, it's, it isn't the man, it's not a man. Man cannot do that. Man is part of the creation, see, but it is the mind, the wind, and the wave and, that obey the creator, see, and he meant the creator to do it. For he that is in you is better than he that's in this world. Oh, yeah. Greater is he that's in brother Isaiah, your son. Amen. The devil that have come to torment him and make him. greater is he that's in your son, my brother. That the devil have tormented him. Hallelujah! Bury him with all your heart. And don't doubt it. Who made the wings? He can rebuke the devil out of the wings. And the storm will keep calm. He can rebuke the devil out of the storm. There is no storm. He is the creator. I'm greater. He's in me than he does in this world. The devil is of this world. The world belongs to him. It always is. Why? At that fallen old Lucifer, the son of the morning star. See, see, that's when he kicked him out of heaven. He came back to this earth. He was the one who said, Christ said, That kingdom are mine. I do this thing and, and I will give it to you. They belong to him. And he is the one that's in the world. John had told us, He said, You are you heard of half of Antichrist who is to come and is already here, walking in the children of disobedience, but little children. You are not of this world. You are of God. Greater is He that's in you than He that's in this world. He that created the heaven and the earth was made manifest and lived in the person of Christ Jesus. Reconciled the world to Himself. Let's say, what was the Son of Man through? But Abraham, alright? Let's find out if it's eternal, everlasting life. Greater was He that was in Joshua than He that was in the Son. And Joshua was a man, a simple like you and I. And greater was he that was in Joshua than even the son himself that was running by the commandment of God. God commanded his son to shine and turn itself around. You see, it's governed and controlled by the laws of God. But greater was he that was in Joshua than the laws of God. Hallelujah. Because the creator himself was in Joshua. When Joshua looked up to the son and said, you stand still there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until I finish the battle. And today we say the Holy Spirit abide in us. Until we finish the race. Hallelujah. A big portion of the Holy Spirit abide in your hand. Until this race is all over. If it's not the Holy Spirit, you cannot make it. I need him every day. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. I think so much. But hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, when the lion was first created, he was a friend of man. The devil makes him to do what he's doing. That's right. But in millennium, the wolf and the lamb shall fit together. The lion shall eat straw like a bullock. And they shall lay down with the bullock. Oh, they will not hurt you and not destroy us in millennium. The devil will be God. It's the devil that makes him the wild and the rape and eat and things like that. The way that he does it. It is Satan that does this thing. But greater was he that was in Daniel than he that was in that lion. See, greater was he that was in the prophet than he that was in the lion. Greater was he that was in the Hebrew boys. Oh, than the book of the Nazareth. Oh, hallelujah, so much here. Yeah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the rest. Let's be on our feet. The time is far spent. Fine is well taken. Oh, friends, great I see as in you, than he as in this world. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our names are written in the last book of life before the foundation of this world. So it's not by accident. Sister, stay in ref give just me that revelation that I think real quick. Your names are written in the last book of life, friends. It's not by accident. Amen. Take the message to heart. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. It's not by accident. Your names, all that dwell upon this earth. They will worship him in the world, the image. They will. Mm. Why? Their names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. They were slain for the foundation of the world. They will worship the image. They are part of the world. But we are not part of this world. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, the prophet prayed here. He prayed. He prayed for you and I. I shall read that prayer. Then we pray again. Say, Oh, Father God, thou knowest about Colorado. You know those things are true. I say it for your glory that these people might know. After all the scientific proving of the picture and of the works of the Holy Ghost, and Lord, that knowest, I plainly stated to the people, and I always do, is because you promised it. You are here trying to find someone that you can confirm yourself to, to let others see that you live you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. I pray to you, Lord, to be merciful, to guide and direct us in our thoughts. There are those sitting here, Lord, who are sick and afflicted. There are those who perhaps may die if they don't get help from you. Many of them, perhaps, is at the end of the road, where the doctors cannot help no more. Thou art God. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Your presence is here. And Lord, we don't know what this thought pool, as we have referred to it, will be. I don't know what, but we know one thing, that the first pool was perfection. The second pool, believe. The five was grace. And God, I pray to you, you will reveal yourself to us. After this thing saying, He that's in you. And you say, The work that I do shall you do us. He said, You did nothing till the Father showed you. We seen what you did when you was ever. Hallelujah. To tell Apostle Paul who he was. What his name, Father's was. Tell Nathaniel what his mission was. God bless you, sister. She's doing exactly what I had in my heart when I tell you. 
Every living human being has got a body. The rich and the poor. Whether you have money or you don't have money, you have a body. Amen. Whether you have a job, you don't have a job, you have a body. As long as you are still in this flesh, you have a body. Job said, is man born of woman? And just a few days, the fear will trouble. This is why Apostle Paul said, I die daily. The house of God is a place we come to draw strength from Him. If the true word of God has been preached from His pureness, it brings healing and strength to the hearers. Father, look not upon me with all my mistakes and errors and inabilities. Then look upon your word. If your word has been preached in his pureness, when you say preach the word in season and out of season, you that give us strength, you that give us understanding, you that give us hearing. If your word has been preached, Lord, may it be unto the hearers a blessing. May they come back and testify to what the world has done to their life. My God, my Lord, our strength, we are called our faith in Thee. There's nothing we can do, Lord, without You. We're just empty without You, Lord. But in Thee, Lord, we have strength. In thee, Lord, we have life, for you promised to give us life. Say, they that believe in you, they shall never die. We believe your word, Lord. Oh, what a mighty God. Sir. Through the mouth of your prophets, we have heard. Right there in Colorado Mountain, with all the contrary wind, Lord is stop. And a man will raise his hand and say, Stop this thing. And so come out. And it happened after four days. The testimony was there. The sun was out. Blasted. There was no rain, no storm. And the people of the town say, What happened? Because they have never seen it. Whenever there is, the word a man speaks. It always happens. And on that day, the storm already started. The mountain was dark and nobody could see each other. Lord, told your prophet to go back to that storm. Stand there. Speak. You did all this to the Lord to vindicate your message. So there will be no argument of what you sent him to do. And so, because we have accepted the testimony, now we have received the message. And the message is calling us to be Christians, to follow the word of Christ, to shun from this world. We cannot worship Christ and say we are things of the world instead of us. The Bible told us in the book of First John, if you love the world and the things of this world, the love of God is not even in you. If we still love this world, how do we love this world? By not separating ourselves. Father, I am grateful for every brother and every sister. Many of you are coming the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember Brother Isaiah, my Lord. Blessed be Remember him. What a treasure to see his parents, Lord, is pressing on. But a man is also is pressing on. So that's all they can do. It's pressing on. We are grateful, Lord, for Sister Claudia, Clive, 
God. Oh, find me today, Lord. Lord. You continue to stretch God. Oh, Lord Jesus. But Jesus, my precious friend, will you make me here and there, Lord? Oh, we can go way back. Our first college that I ever attended. Now that you can bring the shadows. 1986, my Lord, in the south. And then he has a reunion almost 40 years after that, a year and a half. We'll be today. Nobody could have believed that. But look at the condition it took for him to be stationed here, just to meet me. Otherwise, who wouldn't have met him? You know every he doesn't have anybody here. You know Would have been in Chicago where he was born as a Because somehow, Lord, Lord Jesus we made this union. I know this is not by accident. We have something to fulfill. I look at her heart, I it. And I know you will finish it. And you will get it, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank, Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my effort and my love for the family. Great all things for the all How she's carrying. Why not hear this hour? Well, Lord Lord Jesus. See her too well. Lord, 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 Lord Jesus, this young girl that's playing this piano, Sister Shane, as you can sing. She just jumped on this piano and the melody is so related to my soul. May you bless this young girl and keep her away. Anything that will take her talents away, she can watch all these talents to the glory of the Lord. Thank you for the work I gave back to her. Lord Jesus, all the young girls that are always singing here, Lord, Sister Marian, for the day she was due to pick up that mic, young girl has been doing her best. Thank you for her effort, Lord. And also, continue to give her more. Be a blessing to this church. I love this young What about Brother Michael, Nate, and two good friends? Thank you for Nate's graduation. He knows his love, you can see. Love. I love oh, Lord Jesus. Lord, she Help him to grow. Hallelujah. Love of Christ Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Thank you for Sister Corinthia. Hallelujah. Who also graduated from high school. Getting ready to go to college. And I always condition her heart and love. She has a gift from you, Lord. One day she'll come to full fruition of that gift. To see before to see again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for young man Dave, who's now in the youth ministry. Help him, Lord. His job, he loses stress and everything, Lord. And the young man Paul, who traveled to Florida, take a vacation, a few of his friends he said, Help him there, Lord. Keep him safe, Lord. And let your name not see him. Lord Jesus, the Solomon is in your hand and his precious wife, my dear sister. Thank you for their life and their example in your hands. Thank you, Lord, for what Anthony, my sister Veronica, loving couple, loving one another, being there for each other, Lord. Continue to bless them. What a friend, my good friend in Kenya, Lord. Help him, Lord. Lord Jesus. Father, everyone that is here, our sister that visited too, Lord, with the daughter, Lord, may you give a journey mercy if we don't see her again at the path uh, during the day of Friday, Lord, may, may our heart always rejoice that she was among believers. We just thank you and grant her a favor upon favor and the daughter, the desires of the heart, Lord. What a blessing the house of the living God. And everyone whose name I may forget to mention, Lord. Oh, may you bless each and every one of them. Dear is Jesus, my life is in your hand. My peace is in your hand. My joy is in your hand. All that I am is in your hand. Thank you for being my Lord and my God. Jesus.
sustain me in this journey, Lord. May I never be ashamed. May I always put my head up high. I fight every demon I see on my way. I point them so much they cannot get up. Just for the glory of your name. Wherever they might come from, from sickness of the body, from weakness of the heart, every place they might be from head to toe. May they be punched so hard they cannot get up. With the punching of the Holy Spirit that will knock out every demon to go running and screaming and shouting. Because even when the man legion and the spirit was upon him and he began to negotiate with the Lord, and the demon will ask him that we go into the flock. They have to leave because Jesus was there. And they scream, Oh Jesus, Son of God, what have you come to do with us? It is not yet our time. They know their time is coming. But this is the day the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Although the day of devil is coming, when he shall be locked up in bottomless pits, but today he's raging. He's raging. He's bouncing and shouting and like a lion, but he has no teeth to bite. So it's not upon the believers. We are going to stand strong against every foul spirit. We are going to rail against every wiles of the enemy. We are going to shut down the mouth of that lion that could not touch Daniel and today cannot touch the bride. Because the bride will sail in the sea and will not be touched by even the white crocodile. And when Moses was put in that general river, the crocodile could not touch him. And today the bride will sail to this world. And the devils of this world and the, and the king of this world and they have nothing against us. We are fighting spiritual wickedness in high places, but they cannot touch us because we are under the blood. We are under the blood. Bless be the name of the Lord. Lord bless everyone today. Bless everyone today. Bless every church. Lord. Every bride has got out everywhere. Else. We join our prayer with them. We join our prayer at this hour with every truth of the living God. All those that call in your name in spirit and in truth. We join our prayer with them. Let it come down to you, my Lord. Like a sweet smell in heaven. May it not come to you, my Lord. Like a sweet smell in heaven. May the altar of incense may it burn in them, Lord Jesus. May you smell them, Lord. May you smell and remember us, Lord. As you say unto Moses, I have heard the cry of my children, and I remember them, and I come down to deliver them. May you hear the cry of the bride. May you remember the bride. May you come down, my Lord. I know when you come down, we we'll come up to meet you up in the air. You are coming down, we we'll cause us to come up. It will be like an attraction. It's a magnet. When the Lord will come down, it will be like a magnet. And all the seal, all the seed of God, as the Lord is coming down, they are going up. Oh, what shall be a great reunion? We shall meet you in the air. It shall be like a magnet. Oh, Jesus, my Lord, oh, Jesus, thank you. Thank you.
Hallelujah. He's coming. Oh, 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 oh,
I just want to be happy in the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to pour out there. I hope you're not tired yet. Hallelujah. I'm getting tired of me. Deeper, 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 deeper. Hallelujah. Deeper in the Lord. Let's sing deeper. Deeper, deeper.
we live, live with us. As we go, go with us. Unto precious God, I commit all of you. The Lord will keep us. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will uphold you. The Lord will anoint you. The Lord will exalt his name in your life. You will live to glorify the name of the Lord. You will live to tell people about what God is doing in this place. You will live to honor his name. In the name of Jesus. We pray for our youths that they will continue to grow from strength to strength. We pray for our children that they will continue to hear even what we are saying from childhood so that they will grow from it. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. If I hear a better amen, I will amen. have a better amen. 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 Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.